So we are in the week before Christmas and for this week I'm going to do a week of Christmas quick plays based around games which are themed in the Christmas world. And today I have James Pond 2 codenamed Robocod which is a very clever pun on Robocop because he's a fish. And this game was released in 1991 around the festive season for Mega Drive and Atari etc Amiga. It came out with the Master System and various other machines, including the CD32 uh, a bit later. And yeah, we've got our protagonist, who is uh, Mr. Pond here. And we have our very Christmassy landscape with all these doors that you can go in. And it's very similar to the Mega Drive version. I don't think you can get to choose the doors at the start of this version. You kind of go in automatically. But the Mega Drive version is very similar to this. And this plays pretty well. Of course, we have limited backgrounds with most Master System games and parallax scrolling is limited, missing, not here. But other than that, it's very, very similar. Uh, we've got platforms to jump on, a little bit of Master Oh, what are you doing, you crazy bastard? Master System flicker and we can hang on to bits like this and jump about and we it's like a cross between Zool and Super Mario, I would say. Oh, I didn't want to... Oh, he's dead. He turned into a skull. Sorry, mate. I should be watching what I'm doing, really. Um, this is one of the first games to uh, feature in-game advertising, because in the UK it was used to promote penguin biscuits. The penguins in the game are uh, depicted as the penguins from the penguin biscuit bars, and it was the whoa, first time that penguins outsold Kit Kat, I believe, in the UK as a result. So... Some lovely product placement there. Always good to see product placements, of course. So yeah, he's based on Robocop, hence his armour. And he's a fish. It's a bit weird. But, you know, who gives a monkey? Is this a game? Uh, a sequel to, Robo, uh, to James Pond 1, of course. Which was set in a more aquatic theme. And this is such a good game for the Mega Drive, and it is a very good game for the Master System. It moves quickly, it flows at a... Oh, you bastard, giving me a snake as a present. What the hell is wrong with you people? Hey! Gee, oh my god! Of course, uh, there we go, there's one of the penguins. Which is have to free. Um, Zul was actually supposed to be Gingerbread Man, I believe. On its original release. Well, it was Gingerbread Man, but then it got changed to Zul because of some form of problematic situation and this is very much like the gingerbread man games uh, which are terrible and Zul and fish escapades known the world over I would imagine now on that level I was limited oh yeah you're very happy well done because I can't look I need to I need to demonstrate this because I used to love just get out in the open I used to love just doing this. I think on the Mega Drive you could go forever, couldn't you? You could just keep going up and up and up. Uh, it just felt like freedom. Like you were freeing your soul. But on the Master System one, you're stuck. You're confined to the bloody video game, aren't you? I suppose you've got to sacrifice something when you're limiting... You've got limited power and resources and... Not enough bits to feed your grandma at Christmas. Yep, in this one, here we go. Now this looks like some sort of what's it, sugar puff world. And we can jump like a crazy buffoon into the sky. Whoa! And possibly die. Now there's no weapons in this game, you are limited to jumping, a bit like Mario. Although Mario does have fire. And you can get power-ups which allow you to fly, a bit like the raccoon in Mario. Is it raccoon, isn't it? Oh, what a great cartoon that was. Do you remember that? Raccoons with Cyril Sneer. Amazing. Where do I go now? Oh, I can't go up. I can't go up on the platforms. Where do I go? Over here? He's so, such a jolly character, isn't he? So jolly. Whoa, that was quite good. No, that didn't really help. How do I get in there? Come on, guys. you got to give me some assistance. Smash the shit out of this train. Oh, you are going down, train. So we can collect all these little bits lying around and we can hop around like a fish-based buffoon. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's great to be back in the 90s. 
Anyway, I don't know how to get out of here, so there'll be plenty more Christmas quick plays this week. I'm doing a sort of week of quick plays because it's nearly Christmas and I can't be bothered to make full videos. So, yeah, if you like that sort of thing, stick with it. If not, we'll see you the week after. Thanks for watching and goodbye.